Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing the pattern for a teeny tiny crochet star. Now you can use this as a Christmas decoration or use it as an applique to attach it to any of your projects. It's a really quick and easy pattern. It's just one round. So let's see how to make these tiny little stars. So for this pattern here, I'm using a DK weight 100% cotton yarn. And with that, I'm using a size E or a 3.5 mm crochet hook. Now you can use any weight yarn. You just have to use the recommended hook size. So we'll start the pattern and we'll start this by making a magic circle first. So this is how I like to make my magic circle. You take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through like this. So this here is your magic circle. Now if you want some more help with the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming up here. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to do a magic circle. Okay, now once you're done with the magic circle, we'll start with three chain stitch. Chain three, one, two and three. Okay, so you see we have three chain stitch. Now into the second chain stitch from the hook. Here we are going to put a slip stitch. So into the second chain stitch from the hook make a slip stitch first and then into the next chain stitch that will be the third chain stitch from the hook make a half double crochet. So into the next chain stitch make a half double crochet like this. Now make a slip stitch into the magic circle. So go ahead and make a slip stitch into the magic circle. So this is one point of the star and we are going to repeat this four more times. So that's all to the pattern. So we make the next point. So we'll start with three chain stitch, one, two, three, chain three. Then we'll put a slip stitch here and then a half double crochet into the next stitch. So skip one stitch into the second chain stitch, make a slip stitch and into the third chain stitch, make a half double crochet this and then make a slip stitch into the magic circle to attach your point. So we have finished two like that I'll make three more. So we'll start with three chain stitch, chain three, make a slip stitch into the second chain stitch and a half double crochet into the next chain stitch like this and then attach it into the center of the magic circle. So we have finished three, we'll make two more. So it's very very simple pattern. All you have to do is you have to make three chain stitch, a slip stitch and a half double crochet and join it into the magic circle. So join it into the magic circle. Once more, last time. So make three chain stitch, slip stitch into the second chain stitch from the hook half double crochet into the third chain stitch from the hook. Now attach this point into the magic circle with a slip stitch. So here I have completed five points. At this point I'm just going to cut my yarn here like this and then first of all I'll use this end to close the magic circle. So pull on that end to completely pull off the magic circle. If you see we have just simply cut this off. Uh, now in order to join it to give a very much more cleaner finish I'm going to attach it with a yarn needle to the first one. So take your yarn needle first. Okay so here I have attached my darning needle to the point where we have cut our yarn. So this is where we had done our very last slip stitch. Now what we'll do is into the very first point into the very base of it I'm going to take this yarn so that the last point get attached to the first point like this and then I'm just going to hide my tail in. So just go through a couple of stitches and hide in your tail. So that's all to the pattern it's done you can finish this off in less than five minutes that's it okay. Now you can use this end also to hide in the tails 
and you can do a double knot but if you are using this as an applique you can use this ends to attach it to any of your projects just shape it a bit give it nice pointy finish and there our star is ready it's a very tiny little star you can really quickly make this and attach it as an applique or use for your christmas decoration so yeah that's it for today's tutorial i hope you liked it i do have other versions of star uh, two other different version of crochet star so i have put that in the end screen if you're interested do check that out that's all for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching